what is up guys welcome to another video i hope you guys are all doing good another day another dollar god has given me one more day and i appreciate that today before i came to the beach i was watching a tiktok video of a man that is soon in his 40s <sighs> sitting in his car and complaining over the fact that the government hasn't done shit for him now i've been watching a lot of videos like this of, is it millennials complaining over the fact that i got a degree and it, it's not worth anything they lied to us it is true they did lie they lie about everything that is just the truth but you have to decide if you want to be a part of that lie or not that's something very important now as you're sitting in your car there you have two alternatives the first is to sit and complain in your car make a video and yell at the world scream and say that this is unfair and the second option i did i did that the second option is to actually go out and do something about it now what can you do well when i was younger i taught myself how to predict certain things um, i predicted the market i figured out that video was going to be very very important in the future so what I did, this was 10 years ago, I started filming, I started learning how to edit because I knew in the future that video is going to be everything. Now when it comes to marketing, I was correct. Nowadays we have, I don't know how many content creators, YouTubers, people just constantly using video to their advantage. It's a good thing, right? But when I'm thinking of this person specifically, <laughs> it's a cute dog. Hey, hey, I'm filming a video. You want to be my video? Look at that guy. Hey, what are you up to? What are you up to? Look at this cute, cute boy. What are you up to? Huh? <laughs> Have a good day, okay? Have a good day, boy. Cute dog. I love dogs. Man's best friend. But anyway, going back to it, right? You have to be able to predict how the market is going to shift. And I can just throw out another prediction right now. There's going to come a huge robot revolution within the next eight years, I predict. And what's going to happen is everything is going to change. Now imagine having a company and having eight people which work for you and you pay them, I don't know, per year a million. A crazy amount. But you pay them for their services and they're very good at what they do. But then you figure out you can hire robots instead to do it at a fraction of that cost what do you do as a business owner of course you're gonna go with the robots now I was watching this video I think it was Boston Dynamics and then I also saw the the new Tesla robots Elon Musk is an example of a person which predicts the future and moves accordingly now when they start implementing these robots it's going to start very very small you're going to see them 
maybe what at a hospital at mcdonald's but then again they're going to produce more and more and those robots are going to produce other robots which are going to produce other robots and it's just going to become a huge industry now there are a lot of opportunities when it comes to this robot revolution and already right now guys i'm preparing for this robot revolution and i think that you guys should prepare an example which i can take is i think in the future there are going to be a lot of people which are traveling just because they don't have any jobs and a lot of people are going to try to figure out what is the meaning of life now that i don't have a job and uh I'm moving some stocks into the medical industry because I think there are a lot of people that are going to be very depressed in the future and medication is just going to go up, weed is going to go up. So that is a small thing that you can do today but then again there are thousands of things that you can do in order to prepare for this. But be prepared don't sit in your car and complain complain over the fact that the government ain't giving me shit they don't want to see me succeed they're against me no one is against you this is just capitalism and one more thing that i want to add to that i think that um the whole currency model as we know it within the next 10 years is going to cease to exist that's what i think at least but i could be wrong i could be wrong you guys we made it to the end of the beach i've never been here so check it out do you guys see that Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. So I'm going to go up there, take some pictures on top there of the mountain. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. <laughs> then of course I'm going to film other videos, but I just wanted to come on today film another edition of beach talk you know guys how much i love the beach and uh one thing that i want to do before i leave is i want to go to the the beach which was in the movie the beach with leonardo dicaprio i don't know if you guys have seen that movie but it's a phenomenal movie and i can't stop recommending it but then again guys go out stop being inside stop being in your car and complaining go outside do something today do something fun remember we don't have that many days before christ comes so yeah that's all for today and one more thing Terence Howard, you're a genius. Like, comment, and share if you like videos like this. Look at that, guys. Let me get a bit closer. I think that's the best that I can do. Maybe I can zoom in. See if we can get, like, look at that, guys. So, yeah, that is my big surprise to you guys. It is so magnificent is that buddha or who is that leave it in the comment section guys who you think that is and this guys is the reason why i flew all across the world this right here is the reason i was watching the news yesterday and i saw that apparently this plane experienced so much turbulence on the way here that they had to make an emergency landing in thailand i hate flying guys so that is the only fear which i have
What a beautiful statue. Remember guys, keep working and uh, if you have an idea, go for it. Okay, I got some monkeys that are coming here. Look at that guy. Do you see him? Do you see him? Do you see him?